Hi, it's me again with Kuroto Tips and Tricks in today's video. An interlocking object with a circle and a triangle with some shadow. And the shadow is done a little bit differently than, a, than normal shadowing. So we're just going to move this out of the way. Now, and because of the shadow, it's taking a little bit of time. Uh, I'm going to draw an ellipse. Doesn't really matter what size. And I'm going to hit P. And then I'm going to take the polygon tool, set on four-sided, and I'm going to draw a polygon, and I'm going to hit P. But then, it, so it'll be in the center of the page. Then I'm going to turn it into a triangle, and that could actually be a little bit bigger. So let me back up and make this a little bit bigger by holding down the shift key, and then let's turn it into a three-sided. That way, our triangle is a little bit bigger. We're going to take both these and turn them in something bigger than a hairline. Then we're going to take them and we're going to go up to object, convert outline to an object. And then I'm going to go up here and left click no fill and right click outline. I'm going to do it in black. Now, you just need to delete some lines. So we're going to go delete these two so that bar is going over. So when it comes on this side, it needs to go under. So we need to delete these two lines. Then you just need to do the exact same thing again. This one's going under. So we want this one to go over. Whoop. And then since that one is over, we want this one to be under. So we want to put it like that, right? Well, I did the opposite. They're both over. So click back twice and do this. So that makes it look like it's so this one is under, so this one needs to go over. This one is over, so this one needs to go under. And you have it. Now, let me move this out of the way quite a bit. And and you can see how the one of the things I'm going to do really slows down my computer anyway. I am going to, at this time, make a duplicate of this, control or hit the plus key and I'm gonna nudge it over twice. I'm gonna make it something other than a hairline. That might be too thick. Well, we can go with it. Let's go with that side. Whoop. Well, that's because it's a that's an object. So what we can do is um, you know what? It might be smarter just to go ahead and fill it in with all black. And you'll see how the interactive fill tool is going to work or the, how the uh, interlocking works because it's only doing that. I really should have moved those out of the way. I'm going to nudge those down. And if we grab, the line should not come. Just the uh, that we can get rid of this. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to nudge it back up. Don't ever move it, nudge it. I'm going to go to effects in blur, in Gussian blur, and you could set your amount on whatever you want, and that looks pretty good. I'm just going to say, okay. Now, I want to group this together, so I'm going to go Control G. Now, I'm going to take my Smart Fill tool and use any color you like besides black. Let's go with, uh, let's go with red on this one. So, I'm going to make the circle red all the way around, and I'm going to make the... Let's make the triangle yellow. So I got a little bit of a leak there then. So how do you fix that? Well, here's one thing I always try first. Fill that in. And see, now it didn't leak. For some reason, that stops it from leaking. Now I want to select it all, and I want to right-click no outline. I'm going to group this together, Control G. I'm going to go up to Object Order. It's already on the front of the page, so it's good. And then I'm going to nudge this over. And it'll be on the back of the page. And look at that. So now that shadow is all the way around all the objects. Now, to make it really show up, and I maybe shouldn't have used yellow, but I'll use green, or let's use light blue, and then go object, order, back a page. <clears throat> and once again, it takes some time because of that stuff. And I should have made, you know, I made it so big, I should have made my lines thicker. Um, 
bet you if we reduce this, it'll look a lot better uh, being smaller and kind of show off that shadow a little bit more. So there's an interlocking triangle with a circle and some shadow. And it, it, it'll look good enough on white, but it, the blue kind of just makes it stand out a little bit. Anyway, I hope that gave you some ideas and thank you for watching.